So, a few years ago I wrote an article about privacy settings in uh, iOS and Google's Android. But right now, because Apple has managed to actually re-educate the industry about the importance of privacy, we've seen that when you go to settings in iOS and then to privacy, and then you do the same in Android, you can see that basically both of the companies are trying to do their best in order to protect the user and give the user the control over his privacy. So as you can see, both of the companies are trying to do the same, but a little bit differently. So if you go, if if uh, you are activating a new Android or iOS device, you can obviously opt out uh, during the installation process and uh, disable analytics and uh, telemetry data. But if you've missed this step, you can always go ahead to analytics and improvement improvements and disable this in iOS. And the same goes for Android. You can actually do it right here, diagnostic data. And then when we want to take ownership and control over our privacy, we can go ahead and manage each application by the privacy features that we can control. Uh, basically, both of the operating systems have the, uh, the same uh, privacy controls. For example, you can go ahead and see location and which applications are um, asking for location uh, access. You can do the same on iOS. Basically, Apple was uh, Apple actually used to always do this better than Android, but now Android is kind of catching up. As you can see, you can always allow access to Google Maps and other uh, GPS applications, or you can give it uh, temporary access or deny it, um, so you can choose what to do. The same goes for iOS, but iOS always did it. As for photos, for example, if you want to uh, allow social media applications to access your photos in order to share some stuff on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, or stuff like this, iOS is actually doing this better because on Android, you have to go and give access to your entire storage, which means that even if you want to share some picture on Facebook, Facebook has access to your own storage and your files, which means not only photos, but also your documents, downloaded items and other files from other applications, which is pretty creepy and Android has to improve this one ASAP. So as you can see, most of, most of the permissions are quite similar, calendar, camera, microphone, uh, health data, location data, uh, accessing to SMS and stuff like this. Both of these are pretty much the same. Um, and if you go back, you can see that Android is actually doing something better than, other, than iOS, which means that when it comes to applications, in Android you've got pretty much a uh, very organized list of uh, settings. Apps has actually their own dedicated menu. So if I click on this menu item, I'm immediately uh, going uh, to this list of applications, which I can go ahead and manage their permissions. And on iOS, it's just dumped in this general settings area, which I never liked about iOS, but that's what we have. So basically, if I want to go ahead and uh, manage some permissions for uh, uh, creepy applications and the usual, sus the usual suspect is always Facebook, so let's go to Facebook also on iOS, you can see that in, uh, in Android you can actually manage most of the notifications and the battery stuff just like iOS. Um, this is pretty much similar on the, both OSs, but on Android you can actually go ahead and get a new view for permissions based on the application. Uh, this one is pretty uh, unique because, because unlike iOS, you get to see all the permissions that a specific application has. For example, these, you can't do anything about these other creepy permissions, which means that permissions such as uh, have network access, uh, view other devices that are connected to a Wi-Fi in your office or your home, pretty much very scary, accessing your biometric data, accessing your fingerprint data, other things on your device, and also having control on how your phone syncs data and activating and deactivating syncing, but you cannot go ahead and disable this. So on iOS, 
we are a little bit blinded by Apple and we don't get to even see these kind of things that are going behind the under the hood basically but maybe Apple is doing a better job and they are not letting developers to access this kind of permissions I don't know this is kind of um, an enigma um, other things that you can do in iOS applications for example let's go to Firefox on both devices so as you can see on iOS you can go ahead and uh, disable mobile data which is a sort of built-in firewall but as for permissions as for internet permissions on Android you've got this um, open source application that you can go ahead and download and you can actually manage access uh, which application actually deserves to go to Wi-Fi or data connection and if you don't want applications to do something behind your back you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, deny access for certain applications for example if I want to prevent Chrome to access the Wi-Fi I can go ahead and uh, disable the Wi-Fi and the data connection and then when I launch this when I launch the application as you can see if I refresh it it won't work if I go to Google nothing works and then if I go ahead and let, let the application to access the internet and voila if I click on Google everything everything just works so these kind of things I think that Apple should add uh, internet connection sort of built-in firewall in the in iOS devices for better privacy and also as I've said before they must they must show us additional permissions that these applications might have and we don't even know about it or we can't even um, get a glimpse of what other other permissions these applications might have so that's it take care be safe bye bye